so she had a bold idea. She convinced the girl and brought her home, and made the girl change into her own dress. When she went to the mirror, she was shocked. It was like a copy from a printer. Even her height was similar. It made her more sure of what she was thinking. Asked the girl if she's in school. The girl said she was a student. She works in a restaurant just to pay for her tuition. That's exactly what the rich girl wanted. She asked the girl to go to school instead of her until she graduated. At first, the girl refused. But the rich girl offered a temptation she couldn't refuse. Said that in addition to paying her $380,000 per month, I'll take care of your food clothing and transport. The thought of having to eat bread every day to satisfy your hunger. When my mother was struggling to pay for the rice, the girl nodded her head in agreement. Then the doorbell suddenly rang. It was Layla's nanny arriving for work. Layla told Daisy to answer the door. We'll see how the nanny reacts when she sees Daisy. And as soon as Daisy opened the door, as soon as Daisy opened the door, the nanny called her Miss Layla. Daisy, however, politely extended her hand to greet the nanny. That's not going to sit well with the nanny. Usually a proud and arrogant young lady. How can she be so easy going today? Daisy had the nerve to say you could leave work early today, even though they look the same. But their behavior behavior and personalities are opposite, so Layla decided to give Daisy a makeover. First, she taught Daisy how to wear 10 centimeters high heels. Then she started with the details of her appearance. In less than half a day, a real Layla was born. Then came the most important part. The people Layla will come into contact with in her life. The first is her aunt. She was a viper woman. Layla warned Daisy, if you meet her, you'd better walk away. The second one is a cousin. She's been at odds with Layla since she was a little girl. Third cousin. He's a night owl who spends a lot of time drinking. He and Layla had a good relationship. You don't see him much. Fourth uncle, in Layla's opinion. He's the most dangerous person on the list, and the one who knows Quera the best. Daisy panicked when she heard that, but Layla told Daisy not to be afraid, because I love a good girl like you. If you meet him, you'll be yourself. The fifth one is my cousin's fiancé. Layla told Daisy, if he tries to come near you, run like hell. Don't ask why. Just do it. When it comes to the last place, Daisy was in a daze. He's an uncle's partner, and he'd come to the restaurant where Daisy worked to talk business. Daisy tried to get his attention, but Daisy wouldn't even look at him. Obviously a very arrogant man. The next day Layla was the coach. She drove Daisy to a remote wooded area. She asked Daisy if she had a passport to leave the country. It just so happened that Daisy had one for her recent internship abroad. Her uncle confiscated her passport. Layla asked Daisy to bring her passport tomorrow. She's going abroad with her a fake rich girl was born. After introducing Daisy to all the relatives she'd come into contact with, she went abroad with her boyfriend to spend time with them. Unexpectedly, Daisy was arrested on the second day of her substitute schooling. It turns out that yesterday, she messed with two classmates who were against the rich girl. They reported her for taking drugs in retaliation. The news of Daisy's arrest immediately alerted her uncle. He arrived at the police station with his lawyer, but when he saw Daisy, he only gave her a few words. Apparently, this wasn't the first time he'd cleaned up after a rich girl's mess, but unlike the past, Layla apologized to him this time. He didn't think much of it, except that he was a bit puzzled. Soon the results of Daisy's urine test came out. She wasn't high, but the police wanted Daisy's signature before they could leave. But Daisy only knew the rich girl as Layla. Daisy didn't know how to spell it because of all the homonyms. She was afraid she'd be exposed. She pretended her hand was shaking and dropped her pen on the floor. Boss helped Daisy pick up the pen and signed it for her at the same time. She didn't come home until too late. Her mother called to check on Daisy's safety. She hung up because she'd be home soon. But she didn't realize that Boss was going to take her back to her uncle's house. Daisy panicked and said she didn't need to bother you. I want to go back to my own home. But Mr. Baxter shoved Daisy into his car without a second thought. Thought. Daisy wasn't ready to face Layla's family. While he was waiting at the traffic light, Daisy unbuckled her seatbelt and tried to escape. She saw Boss switching off the safety locks expertly. I can see that. Layla's been on her own for a while. It's become a regular occurrence for Mr. Biggs. I just got back to my uncle's house. He yelled at her. He said, from now on, you'll move out of the house and live here. The driver will take you to and from school. Daisy didn't say no. Her uncle slapped her across the face. Everyone in the room was shocked and stunned. Because even if Layla had made a big mistake, uncle never hit him. It was his own bad luck that was to blame. Then he told her to pick a room on the first floor. The people downstairs also noticed Daisy's unusual behavior. She's usually such a quirky girl. Who is normally a quirky, lawless creature? Why is she crying in front of us? Boss thinks Layla's really scared this time. Daisy hid in the loo to get Layla's help, but no one answered the phone. I don't know. Layla had been in a tragic car accident and is still around, but she's not happy with her life of luxury because her uncle was restricting her freedom. When it's late at night, she would sneak out of the house just to meet her boyfriend once. She's had enough of this life. One day she went to a restaurant for dinner. She met a girl who looked just like her, so she wanted the girl to take her place for a while. She says she'll pay you $1 million a month in return. The girl agreed without even thinking about it. After the introduction of family members, the rich girl went abroad for a break. Unexpectedly, she had a car accident right after getting off the plane. She was rushed to the emergency room and her life was uncertain. On the other hand, Daisy, Daisy was living the life of a millionaire. Daisy had no idea. The relationship between a rich girl and her brother-in-law is so complicated. She was so scared that she spilled her drink in the maid's hand. Daisy subconsciously got up to clean it up, forgetting that she was no longer a waitress. She's a strutting millionaire. Uncle saw Daisy's unusual behavior. He thought it was the slap last night that woke her up. That day Daisy went to her neighbor's best friend's dress shop. Daisy's all decked out in luxury goods. She was stunned. Daisy was changing her clothes. Daisy was changing her clothes and recounting her adventures to her best friend, and asked her to keep her secret. Then she went back to her home with a big bag. She told her mother that she had found a good job, but he couldn't come back to see you often.
often. After calming my mother down, she went back to her girlfriend's shop to change her clothes. Then she asked boss to pick her up in his car. What are you doing in a place like this? He asked Daisy. Daisy explained that she'd met a good tailor here. She came here to have her clothes customized. That allayed Mr. Bastard's suspicions. At the same time, Layla gradually regained consciousness after resuscitation. But apart from her name, she couldn't remember anything. The doctor had to use Layla's mobile phone to call each one of them. When Daisy found out what happened to Layla, she hung up on her. The doctor had no choice but to dial another number. This time he called Layla's house. Unfortunately, Daisy and Bully had just returned to the mansion. Say, I don't know. Hear that? Daisy gulped nervously. Ray's mom saw Daisy when she picked up the phone. She thought she was being scammed. She hung up without hesitation. Since then, Daisy has gone from being an imposter to a dry gold to a real one. And her best friend promised Daisy she'd keep it a secret. And that's the end of the film.